so you were late for work. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I mean, like, it's just the traffic on the way here. I'm sorry I was late, brother. It was the same thing yesterday, Mike. You gotta stop being late. Dude, hey, I paid. guys, we're live. Well, thanks for telling me, Vic. Hey, what's <laughs> up, you guys? Brennan from Heartbreaker Guitar. Chet. Hey, guys, what's going on? It's Chet. Hey, everybody, what's going on? It's gonna be in the moment, man. Hey, what's going on? It's Brennan from Heartbreaker Guitars. I'm with my pal Mike here from the... God, what's up, you guys? Brennan from Heartbreaker Guitars. I'm with my pal Mike here, my pal Toby. And today we're talking all about McPherson guitars. Carbon fibers, to be exact. Can I start that from the top? I promise I won't edit that. Quit. <laughs> you got something right there, your lip. Oh, no. <laughs> It's not funny, dude. And today we're talking about McPherson guitars, specifically these incredible carbon fiber series McPhersons. They're insane. Mike, have you seen these things yet? They're incredible, dude. They play beautifully as well, brother. Yeah. yeah. Love the honeycomb finish that they have here. Yeah. The whole deal with the carbon fiber guitars is these things are indestructible, okay? You can take this out in the desert when it's 110 out. You can take it up to the mountain when it's below freezing. No matter what conditions, environmental surroundings you are in, this thing is gonna hold up. It's not gonna move. It's not gonna shift. The carbon fiber construction keeps this thing completely intact. So, like I said, it's great for travel on the go. Um, you know, camping, you know, you gotta go to Europe and you don't wanna bring your precious Martin with you, you take one of these carbon fiber guitars with you. Did so, you do something different to your hair? What's the matter with my hair? Mike, what do you think? Okay. Oh. Okay. Is it, is it all right? Looks great, bud. I guess it's nothing wrong with it, it's just your hair. Anyway, McPherson Guitars, Carbon Fiber Series. Mike, we're gonna demo these. We're gonna go over all the specs, all the components. We're gonna have some fun with these Carbon Fiber by McPherson. So what do you say we give it a go, man? Let's rock and roll, man. All right. Sounds like a little Tom Petty. That's exactly what it is. What's up, you guys? <laughs> carbon Fiber Series by McPherson Guitars. Guys, this is the best Carbon Fiber Series, bar none, on the market. The one we're holding in our hands right now is the Touring Series, the three-quarter size, okay? This is the backpack guitar you can take anywhere. And as I mentioned, carbon fiber, completely bulletproof, waterproof. This is 100% carbon fiber. Even the neck is carbon fiber. Even the strings are carbon fiber. No, I'm just kidding, they're not, they're steel. <laughs> As per usual on all McPherson guitars, you've got the cantilevered fingerboard, you've got the um, offset sound hole. Uh, the, the location of a traditional guitar, as you know, has the, the sound hole right here, which is the sweet spot of the guitar, of the soundboard. So by elevating it to the top of the guitar, we create so much more surface area for the guitar to vibrate. And basically that's gonna give you more sustain. Uh, better resonance and uh, just a better player experience. You've got the sound hole closer to the player's ear. I mean, everything about it, it's just, um, it's purely functional. People often think that the, the sound hole thing is they just do it because it looks cool, but actually it is purely functional. So anyway, Mike, the touring series. Okay, what, uh, you got a chance to play it a little bit before we got the demo. What do you think of this guitar, man? It's freaking beautiful, man. I love it, man. It just uh, has a great, simple playability to itself, really. 
Um, just very user friendly and just has an overall incredible sound to itself, yeah. Did you notice that out of the box, the action is like super low? Just perfect, actually. It's the way I personally like it myself, just because it has very easy, like I said before, very easy usability for, for the, any player. Yeah, and um, I don't know if you knew this, but um, all of the, uh, actually every McPherson guitar comes with three different saddles, a low, medium, and a high action saddle. Did not so, know that. Yeah, so it, they set it up with the low action because most people always request low action on right. their guitars. Right. But um, if you're a bluegrass guy and you need it a little bit higher, you're covered. Right. Again, three saddles. You don't even have to take it to a tech. You can do it yourself. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. And oh, nice. And with the carbon fiber construction of the guitar, you know, if you're changing strings, uh, you know, any environmental situations, you don't have to worry about the neck shifting. Right. This thing is stable. Now, with a lot of guitar companies, the, the neck joint where the screw goes into the body, <clears throat> here at the heel cap, it's going into wood. Now with the carbon fiber series, it's actually going into aluminum, which is embedded in the wood. Okay. So you're not gonna have any flex. Even over time, the guitar is gonna stay solid, it's gonna stay rigid, the neck's nice. not going anywhere. Nice. Um, as I mentioned, waterproof, um, it's not gonna move. It's, these, these guitars are bulletproof. This is the smaller version. They got two different versions, the Touring series and the Sable series, right? Okay? okay? But I'm telling you, I've played all the three-quarter size travel guitars, and I mean, this thing just, I mean, it rings, Mike, listen. Right. It just keeps going and going. Go get a cup of coffee, come back, it's still ringing, man. Right, the great sustain. So, yeah. anyway, should we uh, play a little bit more and? Yeah, man, go ahead, take it away, fire away. Okay. What do you want to do Well, next? you brought up the Tom Petty, man, so let's do it. All right. They started out with um, just regular plain old black binding and then um, they started experimenting with different colors and I people like accent, went nuts yeah. for these things. Now right. they offer like seven different colors. This one here is, as you can see, orange. Right. Uh, the red one there, but they're, they're, they're just fun, man. They look cool, they're durable as hell, and um, they're, they're, just, they're just fun guitars to take with you wherever you're traveling. The finish. This here is the standard finish. Right. That's the honeycomb right there. Okay, the honeycomb came out about a year ago. Everybody loves a honeycomb, but if you like a more simple, traditional look, then go for that one. Go for this course, one. Yeah. Now, one that we haven't seen yet is the basket weave finish, which has not been released yet, but should be out in a few months. Oh, sweet. Yeah, so you're gonna- Basket, so what are they gonna be doing with it? I haven't actually seen a picture. Oh, of you it. haven't seen it? No. All I know is that it's it's called basket weave. Okay. And, um, so now you're gonna have three choices. Sweet. They're all gonna be pretty much the same price. Um, other appointments, you can get it with gold hardware, you can get it with nickel hardware. Okay. These come with a backpack case and a hard shell case. Picks too? <laughs> <laughs> we'll throw in a free pick, <laughs> smart ass. Um, what were the prices actually? 2600 on the travel size. Okay. And again, that includes the gig bag and the hard shell carbon fiber case, All which right. is really cool, so you get both. That's it for the touring series, Mike. Now, uh, what do you say we check out the full size Sables, bro? Okay, I'm down for that, dude. All right, let's do it. Let's rock and roll. What do you want me to play? Oh. You know that one well. Are we ready? <clears throat> uh, yes. <laughs> Might be a good idea to actually tell us we're recording. Okay, what I'll do is I'll say, uh, what I'll, I'll say, don't suck. <laughs> you want to play the bass too with the Dorian scale? Oh, I th okay, what are we going to play, Mike? Did you want to play that one? Hey, hey, what can I do? Let's play something you can solo too. Um, I'm going to uh, play a little. An A. Okay. Got it all in my pocket. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ling, ling, ling. Oh. You need to shut up. Okay. Doing great, man. The 
Sables, the full size guitar. That's what I first noticed about it. I mean, it's just. This thing is amazing. Right. Um, again, we got the full size here, 100% carbon fiber. Everything on this thing is carbon fiber. Okay, now what makes it different from a regular carbon fiber guitar? Okay, first off, it's the McPherson design. It's got the cantilevered fingerboard right. and the offset sound hole. The cantilever fingerboard elevates from the soundboard, um, arriving at more surface area for vibration of the soundboard. Okay. Okay, I was so wondering that. Yeah, so yeah. since it's not connecting, it's not obstructing vibration um, of the soundboard. And as mentioned in the touring series, we move the sound hole over here. Right. Again, more surface area for a better vibration in the sweet spot of the guitar. Nice. Now, we actually use, we actually, McPherson actually uses carbon fiber bracing as well. A lot of uh, carbon fiber guitar makers don't use bracing at all. Um, and basically what that does is it creates, creates more stability and rigid, rigid, rigidity? It's, it's Rigid, hard rigidity? Hard cornice? Hard cornice. Greater sustain, better resonance. Like the V-class uh, bracing? Um, no, not like the V-class bracing, but like I said, most uh, carbon fiber builders are not using it at all. Oh, so okay. just the fact that they're using it, 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 it's more stable, more rigid soundboard. It's got better sustain better resonance. Full-size guitar, this is a great gigging guitar for the traveling musician. You can take it in the element, it's not gonna move, it's not gonna shift, it's gonna, it, it's just gonna maintain its integrity and it's gonna sound great. Very rock solid. Nice. The back of the guitar, this paint that they use, this is actually an automotive paint. You may, may notice that it's actually a rough surface. Like a matte finish? Yeah, you've, yeah. Got, you've got the sealant, the primer, the paint, it's all in one. This stuff actually costs like $500 a gallon, this special paint that they're using. Wow. Um, you can bang it, you can ding it, it's super durable, uh, it doesn't scratch. You've got an onboard pickup on this thing, LR bags pickup. Um, I mean this thing's ready to go, it's ready, it's gig worthy, right out of the bag, comes right. with a hard shell carbon fiber case. Um, you know, it just comes down to the question of whether you want a big full size guitar or you want the little guy travel touring size. That's it, man. Rock and roll, I love it, man. Yeah. That's awesome. What's the price range on them? Uh, these are 3200 Okay. And um, if you get them from Heartbreaker Guitars, we'll even throw in free shipping. How's that? I love that deal. All right. Let me hear you play that thing. Let's give them a little sound down. So Mike, um, we were at NAMM in January and we actually visited the McPherson booth and one of the signed nice. McPherson artists, uh, Juan John, actually gave us a demo and we also got to talk to Larry to explain all the McPherson guitars, the, the wooden as well as the carbon fiber. We are at NAMM 2019 in the basement where all the boutique acoustic guitars are and we are here with Juan John. Uh, from McPherson Guitars. Juan John, how you doing, man? Doing all right. How you guys doing? We're doing great, man. We're happy to be here. And uh, so tell us about uh, you and McPherson, your relationship, and, uh, and what you're doing here, man. Okay, so I'm a signed artist with McPherson Guitars, and I have the um, unmentionable joy of playing these guitars all weekend long. Yeah, so that's what I do. Bummer. Yeah, big time bummer. Oh, please, no, make it stop. <laughs> no, it's wonderful. Um, the new Sables are here. Um, the new tourings are here, and we've got, of course, the wooden models here. Uh, I get a chance to tour and perform with all of these all over the world, and it has been a tremendous honor and blessing to uh, have these instruments in my hand. They sound wonderful. About four or five years ago, they started off with the Carbon Fiber Series. Uh, McPherson is known for their wooden acoustic guitars, handmade, extremely well-made, handcrafted guitars in Wisconsin, and uh, Matt McPherson decided to make these about five, six years ago, and um, he came out with them, and they opened to rave reviews. And now, five, six years later, they're still making them. They're selling like crazy. And uh, I tell you, Juan John, I think these things sound incredible. They do not sound like a carbon fiber guitar. They do not. Um, Matt actually changed the ball game when he braced this instrument. Of course, he got the cantilever neck design, which is a standard for McPherson, the offset sound hole. 
which utilizes the entire top. That's right. like the standard. Now the bracing on this is totally different. That's a game changer. When he braced this, he invented something called the harmonic dampener because he's Matthew's archery. Ah, and right. so when um, you fire the bow, it removes all the harmonic frequencies out of an object. Right. So with this guitar, he said, if I know how to take it all out, I know how to put it all back in. Right. So he reverse engineered the harmonic dampener and that's what braces his guitar. Right. So it's maximizing the sound of the carbon fiber itself. And that's what separates this guitar from like every other instrument and they're handmade. But, wow, yeah, so that's incredible. Cool. Can we get just a little sample? Amazing. Thank you for that. Now, tell us a little bit about the uh, the touring series, what it is, and uh, maybe a little sound sample of that yeah, too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so the touring is designed for musicians on the go. Musicians that um, need something to just throw up in an overhead compartment, put on your boat, um, on a train, whatever. Take it and go. I fell in love with this thing because it's not just, uh, you know, oh, I'm gonna go travel with this thing. I've actually been using this a lot for shows. Um, the small body, of course, uh, it's got this great punchy mid-range sound, which you're gonna hear in a minute. Um, the neck actually is 22 and three quarters, which is stretched out to make it feel like a real guitar. Right. Um, the, in, on both of these instruments, you've got the hand-sanded necks, you've got hand-sanded frets, fretboards, like they're just all very well made. Incredibly stable instrument, incredibly easy to carry around, right. um, and the price point is on the, it's right right where a working musician can afford it and really not need anything else. Right. Yeah. Well, let's hear it, man. All right, you got it. Let's see. I love it, man. That, that's great. <laughs> and you know what? You you might not know, but it's loud as hell in here, and we can still actually hear that little yeah, thing pretty it's good, punching. right? It yeah, it's hard. Yeah, yeah, it is. Well, um, as you obviously know, McPherson is known for their acoustic guitars. So, um, can we maybe sample one of those Whoa. as well? Yes. This is like going to the candy store and getting the, going to the really expensive shelf. Yeah. But yeah. Oh. Yeah. Madagascar rosewood, maybe. Yes. Ah. Big With cedar. No redwood. 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 Yes. Oh, yes. Which is to me. I, you know, it's rare to find a redwood top guitar, and, I mean, yeah, there's, there's no, no way around that. <laughs> for, me, for me, these guitars, the sustain, all day long, the tone, super even. Um, in studio, when I work in studio in Nashville or LA and I'm doing something with producers, um, I get I get a lot of calls for that because of the guitar itself. Right. It is so well balanced. Nothing ever has to be EQ'd. They super minimal EQing, if ever. Right. Um, so the, these things are essentially the Lamborghini of all. This is like this is it. Well, the 3.0, the 4.0, 4.5, all those des different designations are essentially the size of the bout back here. Right. So you've got all the way up to the 5.0. Um, 4.5 gets a little smaller. 3.5 gets a little smaller. Um, I believe, is it 3.0 or 3.5 that's the smallest? 3.0 is the smallest, which gives it a punchy, really nice lead guitar sound. Um, and the larger you get, the bigger it's gonna sound. It's gonna have a really great tone. So yeah, and they're all, they all are different. They're beautiful and they're, they work for different things. The XP is the size of the sound hole. So the size of the sound hole can get bigger or it can become a little bit smaller. 
depending, and that changes the tone as well. And of course, on these, you also have the cantilever neck designs that really help. That? Yeah. Can we get a shot of that cantilever fingerboard? Yeah. So Can you catch that, Vic? It's elevated above the soundboard. Yeah. And that increases resonance and basically explain um, what that does. Sure. Um, it, not, it, it helps the guitar resonate even more so with the prime real estate on the top itself. That's why the offset sound hole, and that's why the cantilever neck design. And that's why these guitars sound so big and so balanced, because he was able to brace it based on this design. Right. Yeah. Well, it's loud as hell in here, but let's, let's try another sample of that thing. You got it. All right, I'm going to give a nice slow one here, because this is a okay. beautiful guitar. Beautiful one, John. Thank you. Well, uh, listen, I want to thank you for uh, the demo and all the explanation of all the guitars. Um, we love you guys. Um, McPherson Guitars is doing it right, man, and we're just proud to have a relationship with you guys and do business together. Yeah. So thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah. Thank I think Larry's around here somewhere too, right? Larry's the guy who keeps the place running. And uh, anyway, Larry, uh, thanks for everything you do. Um, being a part of, uh, in partnership with Heartbreaker Guitars, and um, yeah, you guys are just building exceptional guitars. So we, you know, we uh, love you guys. How many, it's about five, six years maybe, you guys yeah. are selling our product, and you know, to be honest, it is one of the, uh, our better relationships with a manufacturer and a dealer with Heartbreaker. You guys do a fabulous job, not just selling the product, but marketing the product, you know, with your YouTube videos and social media things, that, that helps us, you know, it helps yeah. both of us. Um, you know, we always want to take care of your customers or our customers. You know, yeah. we want to always do the customer service thing properly. And when you have a team of people like you have, that it's it's so much easier to work with. Yeah. When everyone's their musicians, business people, artists, and we're all on the same page for the same result. You know, to make a great product, give customer service. You know, proper pricing and everything. So, yeah. to us, it's a, it's an honor to have Heartbreakers part of the McPherson oh, thanks, family. Man. So thank that's, you very much. Yeah, so. Appreciate that. Yeah. Outside of that, it's just me, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, uh, thanks again for everything you guys do. We Thank love you. McPherson, and uh, you guys just make some spectacular instruments. Nice. But anyway, guys, want to thank you for watching. This is Mike, Brendan, signing off. Buddy, good demo, good love job. It. Love it. And thanks for watching.